You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, new Oxidol is white, and it washes clothes whiter than ever before. The cleanest wash you can get from any soap in the world. Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Now, starting today, your clothes wash whiter than ever before with sensational new white Oxidol, the whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. Yes, the whitest wash in Oxidol history. You'll be amazed. With new white Oxidol, you'll see all your husband's shirts, all your sheets and napkins wash so white you're bound to say... You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. Yes, you're right. When you use this new white Oxidol, it gives you the cleanest wash it's possible to get from any soap in the world. Now, whatever the weather, even when you dry your clothes inside, you'll get the whitest Oxidol wash you've ever had. And that amazing new whiteness stays in your wash as long as you use new white Oxidol. Stays for the life of your clothes. And as for washable colors, shirts, cotton prints, and blouses, well, just see how they sparkle. New white Oxidol is truly safe. Washable colors come out brighter. So try new white Oxidol. When you see the brilliant white wash, the beautifully bright wash it gives you, you'll make it your wash day soap from now on. Your dealer has it now, so ask for it. And next wash day, be right. Get clothes white with new white Oxidol, the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. And now for Ma Perkins. Well, Joseph has a date tonight. Yes, he's at the country club with Ann Morrison, the celebrated photographer who's doing a series of pictures on Rushville Center for a magazine back east. It's a big night for Joseph. He hasn't done much socializing since poor Star died almost two years ago. He was a little flustered when, just as he was leaving Ma's house, Alfred Sinclair, the writer who was working with Miss Morrison, turned up unexpectedly. Seeing the older man, so charming and worldly very well-dressed, Joseph felt a little self-conscious. He going to take out the glamorous Miss Morrison. Well, it's 8.30 now, and at the country club... Well, listen. What is it, Joseph? You said hardly a word all through dinner. Oh, it's... I know, it's nothing. What? It's nothing. That's what you started to say, wasn't it? You just don't talk on general principles. <laughs> oh, now that's better. You had me worried for a moment. I thought you were never going to smile again. Well. Still won't talk about it. No, it's... Not. If you say nothing, I'll scream. <laughs> it's just a... Well, you know, I... I wonder why you should want to go out with me. Well, why shouldn't I want to go out with you? Well, I didn't say you shouldn't. It's just... Well, you know, a small-town milkman... Oh, why should the siren from the big city want to have dinner with a milkman from a little town like Rushville Center? Well, if we were in New York or someplace like that, you'd probably never even look at me. You don't know me very well, do you? As a matter of fact, no, I don't. We've done a lot of talking about me every time we've met. Very little about you, though. All right. What would you like to know? One thing I can tell you, in, in fact, two things. Geography has very little to do with whom I see and look at. My standards in people whom I like and whom I don't like are the same wherever I am, whether it's New York or London or or Rushville Center. I like you, Joseph, and that's why I'm here tonight. That's the only reason. I like you, and I like what you could be if you ever let yourself go. Let myself go? Yes, I think you've got something, Joseph. Joseph. It doesn't show very often, but there's a spark in your eyes. It's very exciting. It's like sitting at the foot of a volcano and waiting for it to go off. Well, you'll forgive me if I still don't know what you're talking about. Oh, that's right. I always forget. You're that rarity in life, the perfectly content human being. Wants nothing out of life but to be a milkman in Rushville Center. Oh, Joseph... Can't you just relax for once and enjoy the evening? It's such a nice evening. I thought we were friends, you and I. 
Well, of course we are. It's just that... Oh, I don't know. Well, I saw Mr. Sinclair before I left the house. What? When, Joseph? Oh, before, over at Mars, just as I was leaving. Oh? Oh, did you... Did you talk to him? Yeah, a bit. About what? Oh, nothing much. He asked me to have lunch with him someday. He... Oh, did he? Yeah, he said he wanted to talk to me. Oh, look. You, you keep asking me what's the matter. Is it any wonder I keep pinching myself, asking myself why... Why is she here with me? I'm just a guy, that's all. Joseph, what did Alfred say to you? He didn't say anything. He didn't have to. You can tell just by looking at him what he is. Handsome, successful. Why, Joseph. You talk about sparks and volcanoes. That's a lot of applesauce. I'm just a milkman. He's... He's... Alfred Sinclair. Why, Joseph, you... Oh, my darling. You... You mean you were jealous of Alfred? Jealous. Oh, Joseph. Oh, you're wonderful. Yeah. Yeah, I'm wonderful. And that's why you've been so serious all evening. No, it's... It's just that... Well, seeing him... You always keep talking about what I could be if I set my mind to it. I had everything all figured out. I was going to spend the rest of my life here. Be a milkman. You had to come along. Then I saw him tonight. He's something. He's important and successful and... And, and... Lo and lonely. What? He's lonely. Alfred Sinclair's the loneliest man in the world, I think. Just because he looks successful... He is successful. All right. Just because he is successful, you think he's happy. I... I'm successful too, Joseph. And as a former divinity student... You should know that happiness is considerably more than skin deep. Oh, no, my pet. Alfred Sinclair would be very happy to trade all of his success for just some of the things you have. Youth, your whole world still to choose from. And as a matter of fact, I, I trade a little of my success for it, too. What do you mean? You're very young. Thank you, my sweet. You must say that to me often. Like a thousand times daily. <laughs> oh, there's music. Do they have an orchestra hiding around? On weekends they do. That's a record player. Oh, well, let's dance. Oh, I'd better not. I haven't danced in a dog's age. Oh, well, it's a comparatively simple operation, Joseph. You just move one foot after the other in time to the music. I'll probably fall flat on my face. Uh oh, that would be disastrous. Such a nice face. <laughs> Oh, come on, Joseph, please. Suppose some of your customers are sitting around watching. Well, that has nothing to do with it. Hasn't it? No. Oh, I thought that's probably why we were sitting all the way over here in this corner. I didn't have anything to do with selecting this table. Faye called and made the reservation. They just seated us here. Faye's a member, you know. Oh, you're cute, Joseph. You're so serious. Are you sure you wouldn't like to dance with me? Well, I warned you. Oh, yes, that's true. You did. And I hereby absolve you of any and all responsibility, come what may. <laughs> come on. Okay. Thank you. All right. Oh, Joseph, this is fun. Hmm. What if we should happen to bump into any of your milk customers? Just ignore them. Well, let's cross that bridge when we come to it, huh? Well. Well. The book says you start by the gentleman placing one arm, the right, gently but firmly around the lady's waist. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. And off we go. Very nice, Joseph. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, don't be, and it happens to the best of us. <laughs> if at first you don't succeed, you... <laughs> Oh, no, that, 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 that's better. Uh -huh. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, look, we, we'd better stop. No, no, no. Now, if you mean to call it off... Well, it's been years. Oh, so what, Joseph? Come on. Now, just relax. All right. Come on, now. Come on, just relax. Uh, there, that's it. Ah, that's very nice. Of course, the book said firmly, you know. What? The, um, the arm around the lady's waist. Oh, uh... Firmly. Oh, 
That's much better. Such a wise and a good book. <laughs> My little volcano. What? My volcano. You. <laughs> have you ever seen a volcano? Uh-uh. I have. Several of them. One in Hawaii. A wonderful sight. So placid and majestic against the sky until it erupts. This is very nice, Joseph. Mm-hmm. Swell. We, uh... We haven't run down any customers yet, have we? <laughs> no. Oh, good. Never run down a customer. Customer's always right. I like you, Joseph. I... I like you, Anne. Do you? Uh-huh. I I've never known anyone like you. Oh, that's nice. That's good. I always like to be in a class by myself. Oh, oh where does that door lead to? Hmm. Where? Over there, those French doors. Oh, uh, down to the lake, there's a path. There are boats down there, canoes. Oh, would you like to go down and see? Uh-huh. But later, Joseph, when we finished our dance. You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. You've always been proud of your Oxidol wash, but now your clothes will wash whiter than ever before because now there's a new Oxidol, new white Oxidol, the greatest Oxidol Procter & Gamble ever offered. It's the whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. Pour some into your hands. See how white this new Oxidol is. But more important, see how white it gets your wash. Dazzling white. New Oxidol white. The whitest Oxidol wash in history. So white, you're bound to say... You're right. It's white. It's that new Oxidol white. You're right. It's white. Even when you dry your clothes inside, you get the whitest Oxidol wash ever. The cleanest wash in the world. And when you see how sparkling bright it washes your cotton prints and blouses, you'll know new white Oxidol is truly safe. So try it next wash day. Your dealer has it now. Be right. Get clothes white with new white Oxidol. The whiter, whiter soap for a whiter, whiter wash. Well, Joseph's big date with Miss Morrison had a rather pleasant beginning, didn't it? We'll follow through with them as they go for a canoe ride on Lake Cantwood tomorrow. But now this is Charlie Warren inviting you to listen again tomorrow to Oxidol's own Ma Perkins. Same time, same station.